Dear brothers, there is something very important that I had to learn with time when I speak with other brothers and sisters, and even with the lost, with people who didn't come to Jesus yet. We need to know and understand that it's not always easy to speak about the truth. We have to be under authority and we need to always be guided by God himself. Sometimes we need to be harsh, but other times we need to be patient. We can't use always the same way with every person we meet. We are under authority. And if we have discernment, we will know when we have to be harsh. But other times we also would know that it's not always by being harsh and rebuking that we need to act. We need sometimes to be patient, especially with younger brothers and sisters in the faith. I had to learn that with time. We need also to distinguish between what is called a damnable heresy and other differences that don't matter. Not every time that a person disagrees with us, that would necessarily mean that they are wicked or that they are demon-possessed. But a lot of Christians are very fast in judging that way. We need to be very careful how we treat other brothers and sisters in Christ. When Paul was persecuting the churches, he was bringing the Christians captives to Jerusalem. When Jesus met him on the road to Damascus, he told him, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Jesus took it as if Paul was persecuting him personally, because he was persecuting his church, the body of Christ. If we persecute the body of Christ, other brothers and sisters, even if ignorantly, we would be persecuting Jesus himself. So beware, brothers and sisters, of running left and right and starting to judge or persecute other Christians. Because even if they disagree with you, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are not Christian. So I wanted to send out this simple message today to warn any brother and sister not to be so fast in judging or persecuting other Christians. Let's be patient with each other and let's be always guided by the Holy Spirit. We are under authority and we need to always get our guidance from the Holy Spirit from Jesus Christ himself, and may God bless you.